hello python programmers so in this video i'm going to show you how you can send emails using the python's smtp lib library now if you haven't installed the smtp lib library then pip install it and if it is already installed then we are ready to go so before starting i'm gonna tell you that this is gonna be a very basic program in which we'll be sending email to only two people you can make it more complex by importing the csv library and then sending it to like a uh, hundred of people by creating a loop so this is gonna be the base of your program you can manipulate it according to your need so let's first create a new file by the name one dot py now let's open this with the sublime text and let me first import the required libraries now let's give the receivers email address and the senders email address first will be the from address or the senders address now this is the official i know python email address if you have any query or suggestion related to this channel then you are free to send to this email address now let's add the to address now I'm gonna make some random email addresses here which are not at all existing I guess so <laughs> so gmail.com now let's create the multipart actually the variable in which the multipart will be saved now let's create the multipart variable for the for to and the subject for is the for address to is the to address and subject is the emails subject so first add let's add two now as in we are giving two email addresses as our recipients then we are gonna join the email address the body is the uh, content which will be present inside that email let's say hello world now let's attach them now I'm creating two variable for the email ID and password for the senders email ID and password you, you can fill this out for yourself so this will be present in the source code now let's establish the connection with the Gmail
and the port number is 587 now let's add a hello and start TLS basically for encoding now let's log in to our senders account this will be email comma password these two variables present here now here we have converted the message into the string format and stored it into the text variable now let's send our mail dot send mail this is from address comma to address and then your details now we are gonna exit by writing quit and I guess we are good to go ctr plus s save go back to the folder shift and mouse right click uh, sorry shift and mouse right click open powershell window here but actually before running this program what you need to do is uh, go to this uh, less secure setting on your email address the link will be given below and turn this on actually this is not the ideal way and I would recommend you to turn this off after you have done your testing or your sending of emails because this can lead to a backdoor intrusion in your gmail account so make sure that you made it off after you have done your practice so i have turned it on now i'm gonna go to the powershell write python 1.py seems to be working fine let's go to go to the gmail and there you can see the email has been sent of course there was no email address with this name but if we click on this and see the two addresses then this is the same which we have seen in our code so this was it actually for this video but you can do a lot of things with this small script now you can really modify this code and send the emails to like hundred of people and do whatever you want but make sure that you are doing things legal <laughs> okay so this is a warning so this was it and if you want to check my other videos then the link are on your screen all on your screen click on them and i'll meet you there bye bye